this is Lady Boulain. I hope you're having a great day. Thank you for your support. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. Thank you for your thumbs up, for your comments, and thank you for sharing the videos. Thank you for all you do to support the channel. And yes, we are commanded to love one another, whether we want to or not, or whether we agree with each other or not. Black Americans are great advocates for social justice. We believe in doing what is right, and we believe in people doing what's right by us. So we are great social justice warriors. That is why when other groups of people get in trouble, when they want to protest something, they like to drag black Americans into it. But every fight is not our fight. Now where this war in Gaza is concerned, a number of responsible black Americans have come out and said, this is not our fight. It's not our fight, and there is no reason for a black American to take center stage in this fight because chances are you don't even know the history of it. You may know some of the history, but you don't know all of the history. Now, we can all agree that what the news media is saying that's going on in Gaza is wrong. They're calling it a genocide, so we know that that is wrong. But the reality is we have had an atrocity and still suffer from atrocities. There's genocides going on in Africa. There's all kinds of things going on with black people all over the world. So if you want to be an activist, you might want to try some of those out to see where you might find a fit to help the people of your own race. We're in the same race with Africans. We're not in the same group with Palestinians. And they're not going to jump into our fight and take center stage. So what I can say for someone who really feels strongly about what's going on in Gaza and you want to be a part of it, then you can go with the students and the people who are rallying for Gaza, but you don't need to try to take center stage. Now, let me show you something. Now this was at the University of Mississippi, Ole Miss. There were some demonstrators for Gaza and some counter demonstrators as I could figure it out. I was trying to get more background information from the tweets that were posted, but I couldn't get anything more than that. She's over there, I guess, trying to be part of the, the protesters and she's got a cell phone, I'm not sure, what she's doing trying to take pictures of this group of white men, which is really one of the most dangerous things you can encounter, a mob of white men of any age. So there she is, I guess, trying to capture on her cell phone the slurs and statements and sounds and whatever it is they're making, and then she ends up being the center of their derision. So the police is trying to keep them separated and the police is really not taking sides as I can see. But now she's trying to advance towards those men, which they're just getting a big kick out of. And it was only one on the corner that was making monkey sounds. I guess that's what he called himself doing. You know, that's the idiot that's going to always show his behind. But I think the rest of them looks like they just having some fun at her expense. And as I see it, she was out of order because, number one, that's not her protest. 
It's not about anything to do with black Americans. So if she was going to be a part of it, she doesn't seem to be a part of the news media. So she should have taken a step back. Now, you know, if she wanted to be uh, in the center of that mob, that's that was a choice she made. I wouldn't do it. So y'all going to have to tell me what you think about this because I don't know, I don't really think it was a wise choice on her part. Now, if somebody knows more about why she was there and that it was a legitimate reason for her to be there in that particular space, please let me know. Because even if she wanted to be in a demonstration, she's the only black person that I see. I, I, I've looked at the thing a couple of times and I wouldn't be out there unless there were some other black people. And I'm sorry, but I would have needed some black men to be out there before I went out there facing that mob. And then it looked like she's trying to tell the police that they need to, I guess, discipline those men. And I, they're just out there having fun. People turn it into a racial thing. Anytime you got some white people and stuff like that, it's going to be a white person if it's just one and it may be more than one. They're going to make something racial out of it. Even if the other ones were just trying to have some fun at her expense, which she put herself in that position. I think she did. Y'all got to let me know. <laughs> because I don't think that's a smart thing for a woman to do of any race. And if a white woman had gone out there, especially an overweight white woman, they would have done the same thing. Now, they may have, used, they may have been using racial slurs with her. But if a white woman had come out there, there might not have been racial slurs, but there would be some other kind of slurs. Because you put yourself in a very vulnerable position going up against a mob of men of any race. It's just not smart. Now, that's how I see it. But let me know how you see it. Thank you for listening. Subscribe to the channel. Give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Share the video. And as always, have a great day.